What's up everybody? Today I'm back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you some behind the scenes stuff. I've got some gear and how basically how I edit all my videos so let's get right to it. So guys how I film most of my videos is with this GoPro guy right here. He's my main filmer. Sometimes I film stuff with my iPad just around here because it doesn't take the best time lapse or stuff like that. But that's what I film most of my stuff on. And then I've got a whole setup. So I've got my mount here. It's on the charger right now. But actually I have it on one of these J-hooks. So they're bigger hooks here. They're a bit bigger and taller. I've got my regular hook here. You can tell the difference there. Then I have a waterproof case with different backing. So with this one, the skeleton back. That one's just another regular back. Waterproof, that gets it up to 130 feet depth, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've got a handle, a floating handle um, that I can strap it onto. Extra battery, and then how I travel with it, I've got the uh, case here. Kind of open it up, it's got all the slots, all the stuff like that. So that's actually how I film my videos. Now I'm going to show you guys how I edit. So guys, here's how I edit my videos. I actually use this app called Video Shop, but I'm gonna show you guys how to get my videos using the GoPro app. So I'm gonna click is the GoPro camera up top. Sorry, this stuff sideways. But anyway, I'm gonna turn on my camera here and I'm gonna click view media, which it's loading the media, join. Um, it's gonna take a bit here because gotta load all my media and all the stuff like that. So, waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna update that later. Sorry, it's sideways again. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the video I want here, which is this video. I'm gonna click download here, which it's done complete. So now I'm gonna come over here. Wait, oops, not that. Over here over here now it's right here in all my saved stuff so i'm gonna go ahead and delete it because i don't need it right now um but uh here's all my saved stuff so now um i'm gonna take these videos and i'd click that button and i'd save it to photos i'm not gonna do that because i don't want them in my photos right now but um that's what i would do and so now I'm gonna come out here and go to Video Shop now. And here's all my stuff. The video that's playing right now is the one this video is gonna be in. So I can record whatever, it's black right now, flip it, any of that stuff. So now I'm gonna go X that out. Now I'm gonna go Import, Select Photos and Videos. Say I want these videos or whatever, any of these. Then I click done. I'm going to select this biking video. And here we go. Now I can do whatever to it. I can reframe it. Um, I can add music here. Got mu featured my music sound effects. Then I can trim. Say I want this in trimmed out like that. Trim that. I can add a text. And it... It's gonna flip it sideways again, but I could text whatever in there. Um, I could put whatever in there. I'm not gonna do that. Flip it back this way. And then I could go filters, do any of this stuff. Um, I could do all, any of that stuff. I could go stickers. I've got a ton of those. Transitions, I'm gonna say I want fade to black do that have that transition there and then if i go over here i've got a whole nother so i've got speed here and then i'd click check but i'm going to cancel that right now because i don't want to adjust the speed um i can record my voice which is actually what i'm doing now i'm recording my screen and then i record my voice after that's how i'm doing this i can reverse it which is one of my favorite buttons let me reverse the video which will basically play it backwards and the sound effects on it are really funny sometimes. And, oops, that's sound. 
<laughs> it's really funny sometimes because everything's backwards. That's really cool. And then I can copy a video and then to delete, oops, uh, press the delete button. It's selected. Press the trash can. That will delete it. Then I can rotate my video any way I want. Split flip just splits in half. Don't really need to show you that because I don't use that that much. Then if I want to add a video, I click here. I can record or I can import a new video. I'm going to import this video in here right now. So it goes in here. Here's how I do the sound. I click on the video here and it will come up with a sound bar. But so now I've got this here. Wait, what did I do? Oh yeah, okay. And now I'm just gonna play the video here. We can fast forward to this part where I do my backwards stuff. Jumping backwards looks really kind of funny. And then I can come over here, dolphins. This was in Puerto Vallarta when I was young. Uh, on a whale watching trip, we saw dolphins instead of whales, but that was pretty cool. And then I say, save the camera roll. It's gonna take a bit to save here, but basically what that's doing is it's saving it to my, um, to basically my, where my video is here. So, and then basically from there, I basically post it on YouTube. And I'm waiting for this to load. And, okay, so now it's done there. So, don't need that. So I come out, it pops up right there. That's the video. I'm going to come out. If I come to photos and it, the video is right there. Come in, all that stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to end that video here. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.